Now, Behemoth and why it fucking sucks. Let's talk about why Behemoth fucking sucks. There's a lot of things that I could talk about. Let's start with, you know, the first time Behemoth was revealed. First of all, why is the name Behemoth? This is probably the most basic complaint, but like in JP, the direct translation of Behemoth is Beast, right? Which is like significantly better than Behemoth. Bro, come on. Why are you, why are you what the fuck do you mean Behemoth? Bro, this sucks. Super Beast Duck Joe. Exactly. At least call it Monster if you want to make it clear as a Monster Hunter reference. So that's one. That's probably the most basic one. The first thing that probably everyone immediately complains about the moment we saw the whole, like, the whole update come up. Let me look up the update info history just so that I can take out some image and stuff. What update is Behemoth? 11.5? Ah, here it is. I found you, fucker. So, probably the number one main complaint, right at the moment that 11.5 dropped, right? This! This fucker! Why does this exist? Why? What for? Why Why do you introduce a whole new farming materials? Just stick to fucking fruits! Why do you need a whole new material? This is a whole new material that, like, specifically is only available on, you know, new stuff. They have to actively add new rewards on new stages that is specifically targeted to behemoth stones and that makes it relatively even harder to get and especially the yellow stones which are almost purely locked after dogumaru before you get dogumaru it is possible for you to get yellow stones but it is essentially impossible for you to farm it it's not a good way to stop new players from true forming stuff not only that this is like a whole new like material to farm farming it in the first place sucks currently we have three farming stages right aside from hunter's map so we got hunter's map and then we got we got the three behemoth culling maps, which are playable once a day and only true enigma. Why do you not want us to farm? You want us to farm a whole new material that isn't cat fruit and then say, no, actually, no, you shouldn't farm. You can only play this once a day and you can only play tr play this if you spend enough energy. What? Why is there a farming stage that like this disincentivize farming? What does, why? I don't fucking get it. I don't understand. Like, just make it cat fruit, bro. Even if you don't want people to like get it like super early, just make the cat fruit required. And high. Or at least like introduce like one type of fruit maybe that like gets I don't fucking know. I don't understand. Make it like give it like Aku seat. Fucking I don't know. I don't care. We'll talk about courier later. This isn't about courier yet. They have to revolve some levels purely just to get behemoth stones as a reward. Well, you could have just done the exact same using fruits. If you use fruits, it's going to be a win-win situation where not only that it's easier to true form these egg units, it also means that there are more ways to get fruits, which is a win-win situation for the players. Why the fuck do you need these stones? Not only that it's like it sucks for players who wants to farm, it overcomplicates for new players. Just make harder growing stage yeah just make it revolve around fruits at least so that's one thing farming it sucks and there shouldn't be a behemoth stones in at the first place in general second of all the way egg works in general is a bit weird so you know that all eggs are eggs in first form egg in second form wow this this you, this cat looks really depressed it's only usable as a cat unit in the third form right i would say this is a pretty unique mechanic and i think it's pretty cool however this really limits the potential of the unit this really limits the possibility of fixing a bad unit. If a unit is bad previously, they have like two chances to redeem themselves. One in true form, one in talents. Now, they can't get a true form because there already is a true form. Can we get the cat as an emote? It limits unit because essentially they only have one usable form. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, th there's also that. There's also the fact that there's no switchable forms. And aside from that, it's more of an uh, aesthetic, but this means that we also don't get cool difference in upgrades. You know how sometimes the fun part of seeing a true form is not only the stats but also the design but now we can't have that we can't have that kind of design because they're all already in true form there's no such thing as improving their designs anymore i do kind of like the way that uh it works where it's like oh red egg means it's a red counter i think that's fine I and mean, i think that's cool but this second form should have been first form i think that's that should be how it works it's more like kaluga you know which okay in fairness i get that it's like oh well it's now no longer like locked from true form but surely you can find a way around it? Surely if you add like a whole new fucking behemoth, surely you can find a way to add a new mechanic where you can only crack the egg by using certain fruits or something like that. Again, I think the mechanic of egg is nice, but in general, uh, it could have been way better. And I think this is probably one of my lesser complaints. I don't, I don't really 
complained about this that much. I think this is an odd design choice, but I don't think this is one of my biggest complaints. This is probably just a minor complaint. Another complaint that I have about the eggs is that this is also design-wise. I wish that design-wise they're similar to each other, or at least have a similar team. So, for example, N001 is Courier Cat, right? And then, say, like, you go to another random egg. For example, Ancient Egg N201, which is a fucking priest? There's no team around it. Like, and uh, this, this guy's a courier. This guy's a priest. And then now we have a duck. The only, like, team around it is that it's like a... it's a small cat, I guess? For example, Uberfest and Epic Fest unit. They all have the same team of having blue eyes. Uh, if you haven't noticed that, every fest units have blue eyes. Even if you don't know a unit is fest, if you see a, a unit that has really clear blue eyes, you can tell that it's a fest unit. That's why in JP, a lot of JP players call fest units as blue eyes. And like in legend rares, every legend rares has crystals on them. They all have like these rainbow stones. Momoko has this in her gun. Benkei have this as like part of the armor. Uh, Jane has this as like the floating stones in the sky. And Gaia has this rainbow stone. Every legend rare has this. It's like a running team. Except for Collab, yes. But like they all have like the shared connections. And I think it's really, really cool. But egg units have none of these. Egg units are really just like generic rare cats, I guess. I really wish there's a connection between these. But alas, it's just like, oh, they're egg in evolved form. And then in true form, they just become fucking whatever. They could have made it like, I don't know, prehistorical kind of team, or maybe even futuristic kind of team, or creatures that are birthed from egg. I don't know, there's there's no team around them. But again, this is a minor complaint. It's not a big complaint, so we're going to move to a big complaint. And this is probably my biggest complaint yet, Behemoth Killer. So let's talk about why Behemoth Killer in general fucking sucks. It sucks ass. So first of all, as you know, Behemoth is a subtype and not as your usual type. It's not like a red floating black angel whatsoever. It is a subtype which means that it can't really be affected the same way as other traits are. The question is, why the fuck is it a subtype? I sort of understand if it's Colossal, but what makes me okay with Colossal being a subtype and Behemoth isn't a subtype is that Colossal is almost purely an event. Yes, they put like Colossal in UL now, but like that's only at a couple stages. Meanwhile, you can clearly see like the past couple of updates, it's all been focused on Behemoth, and there are so much events that are circling around Behemoth, and there's a lot of units that are circling around Behemoth. So, like, Behemoth is a big deal. But if it's such a big deal, why isn't it its own trait? Subtype, I think, like, okay, as a concept, it's okay. But the fact that the only thing that matters to Behemoth is Behemoth Killer is really, really whack. Especially with how Behemoth Killer works. So, it's kind of, like, strong against, except way better. Okay, well, technically, the resistance is slightly worse than strong against, but the damage is significantly bigger. This is whack! In damage-wise, it means that Behemoth Killer does pretty fucking big damage against Behemoth, and especially considering the fact that the ability stacks with normal ability. So, as you'd know, Courier Cat. Here's fucking Courier Cat, uh, the little fucker that he is. Since massive damage is times 4 with all treasure, and also Behemoth Slayer is times 2.5, this means that he deals fucking 10 times damage towards a red Behemoth, which is a lot! That's a fucking lot! His attack does 7,000 damage at level level 30, which means at level 30, he does 70k damage to a red behemoth. I know that you might say like, oh, that's cool because that's awesome and huge damage, but you gotta realize this. All those balances stages based on non-uber units. All those balances stages based on units that are easy to get. If a unit that is easy to get like this already does like 70,000 damage against a red behemoth, that means Polos can get away with putting like an immensely super powerful, stupidly high damage red behemoth in the future. And we could hardly complain because we have Courier Cat. And I know you might say, well, what's the problem? That means we have Courier Cat. The problem is that that means we have to bring Courier Cat. And I know that me I know like Courier Cat is easy to get and all that stuff. That really limits creativity in creating lineups. It really limits like making the game fun, you know? A big part of the fun in Battle Cats is being creative with lineups and making like really diff having really different experiences over other players. But if every player plays the same stage all the same way and basically requires the same prerequisite to beat every stage. It's boring as fuck. It 
it'll absolutely kill discussions of the game. It'll just kill the game in general. It sucks. It's basically Razorback all over again. Exactly. It is basically like Razorback. Yes. It is very repetitive. It's very bland. It's boring. It's really boring. And all this happens because of this thing. This ability is terrible and should not exist. Behemoth should be a separate trade. Behemoth killer simply should be a strong against Behemoth. Simple as is. That's also why Raja Kong is insane in terms of stats. Like, Holo saw how stupidly powerful Courier is and realized they need to make their Behemoth stronger. So they released Mushroom and they released Raja Kong. That's why when they make Raja Kong, they were like, okay, let's make this as bullshit as possible and that we're, we can be fine because people can get Mushroom Forehead. Just get Mushroom Forehead. What the fuck does it need 10% chance to create a level 2 wave for? And why does it have Omni Strike? And then they lock Mushroom behind 10 enemy limits Raja Kong stage. Yeah. Like someone said earlier, it is basically like the Razorback Bomber kind of uh, experience where if a Razorback appears in the stage, you absolutely must bring Bomber. You get what I'm saying? Let's just say there's like a metal stage, except that there's one uh, like non-metal peon, like, you know, like uh, just Heavenly Hippo or Heav Angelic Gory and stuff like that. You know, there's a lot of counters for that. You can bring Cyborg, you can bring Juliet, you can bring Steve you can bring Pizza. But uh, what if the random peon is Razorback? Then you have to bring Bomber, right? <laughs> and it's the same case as this, if the enemy is like Rajako, or if the enemy is Ahirujo, you have to bring Courier, you have to bring Mushroom. There is basically no creativity whatsoever in that case. Ramen Cat made Angel enemies very stat strong. That is also true, yes. That is also probably one of the very first example of such thing happening. They made Ramen too strong, and that's the reason why Angelic Gori is immensely powerful in a lot of stages. Like, Angelic Gori in general is already the product of what is essentially power creep. And Pono was trying to counter power creep by making bullshit enemy powerful. Raja Kong is like the combination of both ramen and mushroom. So this is definitely my absolute biggest gripe with Behemoth in general. Behemoth Killer is terrible. It sucks. I mean, if it's dealt with properly, if Behemoth is a whole new trait, if this is not a stone and just a fruit, and if Courier doesn't just like is basically a requirement to every Behemoth stage, I think this would have been an amazing update in general because this gives a lot of cool contents. Again, I like eggs. I think they could have been handled better, but I don't really, uh, I don't really have that big of a complaint aside from, like, aesthetic-wise. The true form is a little bit of a gripe, but I, it's not a big complaint of mine. I think it being locked in the true form is like, okay. Otherwise, however, Behemoth Killer is such a big problem. It's so boring. It's so boring. It's actually insane how boring it is. And it also comes with the fact that, like, Behemoth Killer being the only thing that affects Behemoth means that the only Behemoth Killer that thrives are stat-based Behemoth. That means every other non-stat-based Behemoth Killer doesn't thrive at all. Things like, uh, uh, Surgeon Cat. Surgeon Cat doesn't work at all because it's not a stat-based unit. Surgeon Cat is a debuffer for floating and it should have debuffed Behemoth too, but it's not possible for it to debuff Behemoth because Behemoth is a subtype and there is no such thing as a Behemoth Weakener. There's no such thing as like a Behemoth Weakener or anything. There's only Behemoth Killer and it only affects stats, but if your stat sucks, it doesn't matter, doesn't it? Like, look at this. Look at this guy. He's worthless and he probably would have been okay at least if he can freeze behemoth, but he can't. There's not a single behemoth that he can freeze. He can only target black, and the black behemoths are freeze immune, so it's useless. Look at Soran and Gummy. I think Soran and Gummy has it better, because Soran has the dodge at least, right? And Gummy's sorta of stat-based. Pumpkin's not stat-based at all. Surgeon Cat's not stat-based at all. Exorcist isn't stat-based. Racket is good, but Racket isn't good because of the Behemoth Slayer. Racket is good purely because his ability is good. Literally, you can take out his Behemoth Slayer, and Racket would still be good unit as he is. Catarzen is slightly decent. Catarzen is weird because it's it's stat-based, but it's not good enough. Behemoth enemies... Oh yeah, that's also true. That's also another thing. Yeah, Behemoth enemies also have a lot of immunities. Ability-based Behemoth killers have a rough. Yeah, there's basically not a single good ability based egg unit, except for Racket, which even then, Racket is like, okay. And even then, Racket could have gone without Behemoth Killer, and he would have still been good. So, yeah. It sucks. It sucks. It's boring. It's boring, it sucks, and especially the fact that they release, like, enemies and cats together, like, clearly showing that, like, oh, you know, Gas Mask is for Dark Joe, and Courier is for Ahirujo. It's like, yeah, we know. Shut up. <laughs> 
you're, you're making it worse. Behemoth in general has just made a lot of the updates boring, honestly. I know a lot of updates in general have been boring before Behemoth stuff. Like, there's a lot of updates that are just like, oh, new UL and new talents and all that stuff, and that's it. And since we got Behemoth, we have gotten a lot of new contents. And I'm grateful for that. I just wish it could have been so much better. Because now it's getting stale. I feel like by the time when it first, when 11.5 first released and then 11.6 you know, starts releasing too. There's a lot of new stuff and we get to understand a lot of the new cool concepts and stuff like that. But once we get the idea, it just it's just the same song and dance. And worst of all, a lot of the problem starts to become much more obvious, especially how Behemoth Killer works and how Behemoth Killer, like, destroys a lot of stupid stuff. I still just think that, like, honestly, I could bear this. I could bear farming stones. This I'm completely fine with. Behemoth Killer is absolutely the biggest problem from Behemoth in general. Because this creates a slew of a lot of problems. One being unbalanced cats like Courier, unbalanced enemies like Rajakong, and really useless units like this guy, Exorcist. This creates so much shitty problems. There are things that could have been hyped that ends up being boring. Colossus is still worse though. The thing is like, Colossus? Uh, yeah, Colossus in general is pretty bad, but Colossus is very, very limited to really specific events and like very, very optional if you get what I mean. It doesn't really have that much place in battle cast. You could completely remove Colossal and there's not, not much has changed, but they put so much things revolving around Behemoth. There's so so much content regarding behemoths. You can ignore Colossal and you won't miss much. But if you ignore Behemoth, you're missing a huge part of the game. That's my main rant about Behemoth. I feel like there's another thing that I want to talk about, but I don't remember. But most of them pretty much revolves around Behemoth Killer being a terrible, terrible ability and how Behemoth should have just been a, a whole new trait. <sighs> so yeah, that's about it. By God, Ponos, please, if you watch this, please do something. Seriously. It's been so stale. I feel like Ponos didn't even realize how stale this is. Because, like, I feel like from Ponos' eye, they're like, oh, we're pumping out a lot of contents. And they're right, they're pumping out a lot of contents uh, in the last, like, four or five updates. There's a lot of contents. There's a lot of, like, cool new backgrounds, new aesthetics, new enemies. The Monster Hunter references are very much appreciated. There's a lot of rigor cats. These are, like, a lot of contents. And yet, how much that matters is very little. Get Courier, that's it. Farm, 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 farm. Behemoth Killer sucks. In general, General, the vibes of Behemoth is really nice. I really like the Monster Hunter reference. I really like the designs for the uh, for the monsters. Like the designs for Raja Kong and all the stuff. It's really nice. The designs for the cats is really good. The designs for the stages is really nice. But this, it's just Behemoth Killer. It's Behemoth Slayer for a reason. It's BS. Hell yeah, you know it.